Hi, I'm Joe from the Center for Arkansas Farms and Food, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up and use our subsoiler. We're going to start by backing the tractor up to the subsoiler and make sure it's roughly centered on the implement. Then we're going to go back to the three point links and remove the pins that keep the three point arms steady. Once the pin is removed, we're going to grab a spacer and put it into the ball because our tractor is category two while our subsoiler is category one hitch pins. We need a spacer to take out any slop. We're going to set our three point arms up close to the pin, release the arm a little bit so it slides out and then bring it up onto the pin and then take another pin and secure it in place. Then we're going to grab our top link. We're going to set that one in place. And we're going to secure it. And then you can see I already had the first arm already in place. So now that we have all the pins hooked up onto the tractor and everything fastened in place, we're going to start the tractor, lift up the subsoiler, center it on the tractor, and then re-secure and pin the uh, guide arm so the subsoiler doesn't sway back and forth. What I did there was level it out so when this goes into the ground, it's going into the ground perpendicular to the soil. Okay. So what we did there was level it out the side by side. Um, the right side was a little bit low, so we just brought up the lower arm on the right hand side to match what's on the left side. Now that we're out into the field, we're gonna use our subsoiler to break up the ground below about that 10 to 15 inch depth range. That allows us to have a nice deep root zone for growing crops in plastic culture or for growing root crops here at CAF. As we go into the field, we're gonna drive into the field a little bit and we're gonna slowly lower the subsoiler down and so that we can start kind of figuring out where our depth is and then we'll set that on our draft and our depth control and our three point hitch. So we have draft setting right around three to four. We have our height setting right around three to four as well. But again, you have to double check what's actually going on in back. We're aiming somewhere in that 12 inch to 15 inch depth range. That's more than adequate here. We're going to use range two and we're gonna use gear one. And then we're gonna make sure the tractor is in four wheel drive. And we're going to use throttle about halfway. We could certainly go faster than that well, we wanna be careful that we don't hit a rock and cause something to bend or break. So we're gonna take our time. It's not a big field, we'll be okay. So once we got going there, I found out that I had my three point hitch depth too far and it pulled the subsoiler way, way down. So I had to stop and reset my three point hitch to bring it up more to that 12 to 15 inch depth. Now we're gonna go back over and actually run our hand down into that channel and see what it feels like. Well, yeah, that's right about that 12 to 15 inch depth. That's what we're going for. You can definitely tell this field had not been chiseled or subsoiled in a while because it was really pulling hard. You can feel and see the tractor kind of jerking a little bit. Well, let's go do another row. All right, now that you're done subsoiling the field, don't shut the tractor down right away. It needs to idle and cool down naturally for a bit. So let it run for a little while before shutting it down. Then we're gonna come through the subsoiler and we're gonna clean off, knock off a bunch of the soil. Try to leave as much as possible out here in the field. And one final thing to watch for when you're using the subsoiler. Make sure the front end is tilted down a little bit so that when you go into the ground at the start of a row, the front points on the subsoiler 
grab and pull it down. If it's not going down into the ground, you don't quite have the angle just right. So here at CAF, we like to use a subsoiler when the ground is hard at that eight to 12 inches deep. So when we're growing root crops, we're growing deep rooted crops in plastic culture, we want a nice deep root zone. So we come through with that subsoiler to give us that nice deep root zone and plow really at that 10 to 12 to 15 inch depth. 